this non-political look at the things that matter to you in business, community, culture, and in relationships. My special guests today, the CEO, that is Mr. Winston Roll, the CEO of the Bahamas Chamber, and the Chamber Manager, that's the manager of the Institute, Mr. Ian Ferguson. Just to recap a little bit about the Leadership Academy that's being offered by the, the Chamber, something I think is so important, and folks would like you just to make sure that they have a full understanding of what the opportunity looks like. Beautiful. The Leadership Academy is created and designed to bring together uh, a beautiful leadership development initiatives that incorporates uh, wonderful tools, uh, the tools of mentoring, coaching, and training. It is the business of bridging perhaps even the generational gaps that Mr. Rowe mentioned a minute ago, of those persons who are tried and proven, those persons who we know to be powerful, impactful leaders uh, of today and of yesterday, uh, and identifying persons who perhaps in the work environment are emerging leaders or uh, are new to specific roles, uh, or persons perhaps in leadership who are struggling who are challenged with whatever competencies they are required to demonstrate on a day-to-day -day basis. And uh, uh, pairing those individuals in a very deliberate way uh, so, uh, so as to, at the end of the six-month period, be able to evidence some very clear growth and some development. So for six months, the Chamber has said that it will, will embrace that employee and cultivate that person in leadership skills and development such that at the end of six months there will be a, a marked improvement. Is there a guarantee of that? Well, I, I think I don't see how you can miss because when you talk about the cadre of professionals that you're going to be mentored with, uh, for you to spend six months of, of interaction with those individuals and walk away with nothing, uh, that really would then question your ability to be a leader at all. Mm. Um, uh, and in that same vein, uh, we, we still are open to accepting persons who want to play the role of mentors as well. Because like, like I indicated, uh, there are persons within our network that we can reach, but we know there are a number of persons who are retired, uh, out of active duty, but still have a lot to contribute. And rather than sitting at home, they can get engaged and, and, and spread some of that, that talent and wealth of knowledge that they have. So there's the opportunity both to be mentored and to mentor. For those who are listening and thinking, I'd like to contribute to the development of our leaders of today and, to, and tomorrow, am I going to be paid? There is, uh, again, because uh, we, we are working with a number of persons who are actively serving in various organizations, um, perhaps uh, even in government service. And so uh, um, there is an honorarium uh, that we have a fixed honorarium, in fact, that we uh, have assigned to persons who will assist us with this process. Um, but I believe, in fact, I'm so pleased to say that the persons who have already presented themselves have said that if you give us not a dollar, uh, we are so ready for this necessary move uh, in leadership development in our country that we offer ourselves. And I think one of the things you have to realize is there, there are persons who recognize that we do have a challenge in that area. Uh, and so it's not just a matter of, of what you're going to get from it, but it's trying to better the entire working and business community as a whole to get more persons at a certain level in leadership. And overall, the country grows as well. So you have a number of persons that are very committed to this, not just looking at it from a personal perspective, but from a nationalistic perspective. I'm a business owner. For other business owners, should we expect to provide an honorarium as well to the chamber for this training that our employees will get? Well, you know, we have to realize that the chamber is a nonprofit organization. Uh, most of our funding comes through membership or through services that we provide. So obviously any programs that we can get funded allows us to do even more. And so if, if you see value in the services that we're providing and, and feel so inclined to, to give us something to, to assist with our work and efforts, by all means we'd more than happy welcome it.